हेलो फ्रेंड्स होप यू आर डूइंग वेल वेलकम टू प्लानिंग बी सिक्स एंड टुडे वी आर हेयर विद द टॉपिक ऑफ यूजर डिफाइंड फील्ड इन प्रेमोवेरा पी सिक्स वॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ दिस फील्ड हाउ वी कैन यूज एंड हाउ वी कैन मैनेज दिस यूज एंड डिफाइंड फील्ड ऑप्शन इन आवर प्रेमोवेरा पी सिक्स सो during the session i will describe what is the purpose how we will use and how we can manage within the primavera p6 of this option user defined field as you know we are at the primavera p6 open your software enterprise and in the enterprise there is the option of user defined field so open this option here you can see the option is basically the user defined field option we use to manage our primavera p6 software to add some columns in it and we can use separate filter or see the activity updates or we can manually put the values which may be some comments some against the each activity may be some remarks maybe you can add fewer comment section and then client response and then if there is a consultant then consultant response columns in the schedule window in this window you can see these all things here and also there is option for the various for the activities activity tab this window is here you can add and for the others activity resource assignment you have option to add columns activity steps issues project expenses project resources sorry projects resources and risks you can add or use this user defined field whenever you will go to the this window you have also option for wps and documents wherever it will be show in the add option but today we will learn in the activities in the parallel you can also manage this how we can check this add or manage the columns so how we can add the columns here suppose we want to add a column for the remarks first of all for the remarks or comments then go to the add here in the add after the adding here you can see there is a new so click here right here remarks and here data type which type of data you want so here is the remarks column this one either this is a cost you have to select finish date indicator integer number start date or text in the remarks there is a text okay after the adding the remarks column let me show how it's work it's how we can manage close it and right click here columns find here column or you can see at the bottom user defined field options are here which is from the user defined i have already too many so let's just open the remarks and here apply and okay there is a remarks column this one you can see here remarks column you can put anything a b c or you can write 1 2 three you can add percentage this is just text as how you can add you can add for all activities for milestone each and everything you can manage remarks like that if you have comments then our contractor comments consultant comments and client panel complaint comments and if there is any ob objections delay is if this activity is in delay status you can add the uh, manage as a ledger of delays why this activity is delay or uh, why what is the purpose behind you can write a description too long no there is no issue to write any of you can have no limit to write here you can write your explanation here and you can manage by this like that or you can extend your row height as i described before so the second option how we manage the other columns like columns sorry 
enterprise and go to the user defined field in the user defined field we add one more if you want to see something indicator if you want to indicate some activities like uh, or you want to add some cost you can add cost first of all we can say the cost just p6 if there is any no duplication and cost cost p6 okay close it and again go to the here and if i go here directly and go to the cost p6 this one is move here apply and okay here you can write cost manually something extra cost additional cost extra if you not want don't want to manage by the your expenses option then you have option to manually to create or add plus minus cost so suppose that 5000 it's showing dollar because dollar is already currency is selected that's why it's showing as a uh, if you add for other activity it will accumulate automatically here you just have to add some cost to any activity then it will be like you can see here this is how it is managing by this one the cost is accumulating here then here and overall you can see this is extra expenses also you can say any of the cost extra labor resources extra charges overtime charges you can manage by if you have any other calculation sheet from excel from somewhere you can add from here as well so next option is our next option is go to the here and uh, user defined field after the user uh, user defined field we will add here and first of all we can select the other is finish date if you want to see the specific activity finish date then you have i think this is option is already available then you can filterize by this one just say filter okay finish date date p6 and then maybe we can add here the start dates start date and p6 and here start date is where start date p6 is here and option is we can say the start date okay close here again in the columns start date and finish date you can find from above section or you can manage from here start date is where start date and finish date finish date p6 okay apply okay here you can add start or finish dates as per actual like if you have the some uh, dates actual dates you can manage by here if you are updating and this you don't want to add these columns and you have to manage by here 20th okay and then also the finish dates from here something you can manage by here 31st of december this like that you can add your dates the dates will be showing here and then we will see how we can filter the activity with the help of this these columns okay next is enterprise we will add the something any columns if you want to show number indicator or say any of value if you want to show there is schedule performance index and cost performance index if there is a separate number in decimals you want to say show here then you can say integer option just say the value of man hours or something whatever you want you can man hours pp6 and then here where is man hours 
this one and here we add this one integer close later on you can also have option to manage these all things also adding after the adding this in user defined field we will manage we can put the values or formulas through global change option i will describe before but later on when we will reach to that option i will describe that how we can use the global change option and how these values works specifically so if you have any of numbers like that you can add of numbers and if you have in decimal point 1.2 you can add like that okay it and uh, in negative as well if there is some variances and if you want to suppose your duration was this one original duration and your duration you want to calculate manually if some activity is delayed and some activity is ahead from your schedule then you can see the difference between any of number you can add as an integer here and then other option is in the user defined field there is option of add and uh, indicator 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 and here you can say indicator and before was manos this one okay indicator is also added now we can add once which one is that indicator is done number is remaining finish date and start dates are done number is remaining we just say in number number where is new one this one number suppose any of number you want to write here you can have option to write any number any like that like this column you can specify the number 50 30 directly any of contact number something against the activity vendor number something you can write any of number just say number and close that one go to the columns and insert that columns from user defined fields and uh, here is number is there and then indicator is there okay apply and okay this is indicator column and this is number column now you can see you can put sum of value 1.234 like that you can add some numbers if you have extra man hours over time in percentage something you can put 23% sorry percentage is not acceptable but in numbers you can add something like that okay but in text column you can you can add the percentage as well so this remarks text will not cumulate cumulative on the top but other columns will work like cumulative indicators is that one like this one this one this one you can describe you have to describe the indies indicators are legends how you can use this is danger sign basically but you can say this is on high importance this is medium this is priority level you can manage like that or something and this is low categories you can categorize and define in your this column you can say the star means this one or as a legends you can write here a certain box as a this legend attachment certain a text box like that so how we can check where is so go to the filters in the filters you can see here the user defined filters we can add a filter here new filter and here where untitled fil filter where in this indicator all of the following maybe we can say the indicator is equals to you have to select the value it will filterize that one green okay after the okay when you will apply this one 
it will sort out only that activity is this in indicator like that you have option to manage the all filters for the other columns as well you can manage the filters like that okay now filter is clear and also you can group and sort by you have option to check by here like that here here is also indicator indicator and uh, other manners manners you can see here this is manners finish this or cost p6 cost p6 column is here also as well start date remarks column is here you can also see the remarks column this one apply and okay this one how you can sort out the your schedule where you put the date something like that this is how we can manage the it will be sort on the top where you have some values in the specific columns hopefully you understand our today tutorial user defined field basically this is you have option like excel to manage your columns in primavera p6 to put something additionally which columns you have here here up to the user defined field here other than this you have option to use a defined field you can put the columns specifically you need as per your requirements as per your project requirements or contract requirements hopefully this tutorial is very helpful for you keep watching us please like share subscribe and comment on our planning p6 also we are going to launch our p6 website where you have many written contents and you can also contact us on info at the rate of planning p6.com thanks for watching allah hafiz